Thanks so much for subscribing. I can't believe I'm already at 500. Not only that, but the amount of views I've gotten on the trailers has been incredible. The joy alone from the comments, the suggestions, all of the people reaching out to work with me, it's been truly heartwarming, and I can't thank you enough. So, to celebrate this huge milestone, I'm going to talk a bit about what inspired me to make the mod, the design philosophy I went with, and most importantly, some sneak peeks as to what's coming up next. Growing up, the first Zelda game I ever played was Twilight Princess. Now, I hadn't quite played anything as epic as it before. The mood, the aesthetic, the music, the world itself, it felt so inviting. This game containing things I had never considered, like shadow beasts and the world being covered in darkness, an epic story, it was very immersive. And after that, I was a lifelong fan. I would go on to play every game in the series, and Twilight Princess would remain one of my favorites, even to this day. At this point, I would go on and try to recreate those feelings of adventure and excitement I would have with Twilight Princess in other games. Now, thankfully, I was also into this little indie game known as Minecraft. Uh, there was a mod for versions 1.64 and 1.710 called Zelda Sword Skills, and it was this amazing labor of love that aimed to create a Zelda-like experience within Minecraft. From items, dungeons, secret rooms, mask trading, item trading, upgrading, it had it all. And it served as a perfect way to combine both. I played this mod an absolute crap ton. Well, as life goes on, so did the mod creator, and he stopped updating it. So last year, I decided to try a new skill out. And a little thing about me is I hate to be stuck. I'm always trying something new. I'm always picking up new hobbies like 2D art, 3D art, animating, modding consoles, making videos, building furniture. I try and do a little bit of everything. So I decided to make a mod. And I hadn't really coded before, and I had very little experience with pixel art, but I do have a background in art. I also, very fortunately, teach a class about how to plan and learn, so really, I had all the skills needed to actually try and get something done. So, I started with a design plan for what I wanted it to be. Zelda integrated into Minecraft. I wanted to complement Minecraft's existing systems. I wanted this mod to feel like an official DLC or an add-on, similar to what Bedrock does. So I really wanted to integrate into the already existing structures in Minecraft, the systems that were in place like villager trading, uh, mining, upgrading with the smithing table, and things like that. In terms of textures, I wanted everything to still fit the feel of Minecraft. I really like when mods feel official, like they could be real DLC. DLC means quality, and I also knew I'd be the only one working on this, so to ensure the best quality, I had to keep my features in check. Meaning, only adding the essentials. Moving on to the future. Obviously, more is the name of the game here, so we're talking more items, more dungeons, more content. And I'll keep updating this as long as I'm able to. In terms of a sneak peek, here are some things that I've been working on. The Champion's Leathers have an entirely new model. In celebration of the one year anniversary of Tears of the Kingdom, here it is, updated with only one of the pauldrons being leather, just like how it is in the game. For 500 subscribers, here is the archaic tunic from the same game. And here, let me take my shirt off to show the full effect of the tunic. You'll only be able to find it in Skyruins, which I can't show off yet, so use your imagination. And yes, that's right, one of the most requested features, the Ocarina, will be coming in an upcoming update. Minecraft itself doesn't use very many GUIs, so I'm going to include it as a context-sensitive item that reacts differently when clicking on different entities or different blocks. If you have suggestions for what it could do, please leave them in the comments. Here, let me show you. A bit of a work in progress, but eventually.
The last thing I'm willing to show are the magic swords, the swords from Zelda 1. Obviously, these swords will let you shoot sword beams and will be upgradable. But how will you upgrade them? Who could say? You'll only be able to find out. Thank you so much for watching and for checking out my mod. Hopefully, some of those teasers were very alluring. If you'd like to support me, there's a link to my Ko-Fi in the description. If you want to keep seeing the mod updated, subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.